This is a summary of the evolution of the differing human breeds of man. Time scales given are a general approximation. The first humans, Homo sapiens, were black Africans. They arose around a quarter of a million years ago in northeast Africa from Homo erectus. Tribal groups of these first humans journeyed outwards from Africa around 130,000 years ago during a warmer, interglacial, period. This is the out of Africa theory. They migrated to the north of Europe. Another wave of these humans migrated east from their homeland in the northeast of Africa. After decades of traveling along the coastline they reach the territory we know today as India. Most of these Africans stay in India. However, a few of the tribal groups decide to keep moving. They advance further east and find an area to stay in Far East Asia. The same thing happens in Far East Asia. A tribal group severs and migrate southwards into Australia. The Africans had found their territories for many millennia to come. To compress this, black Africans habituate five different locations around the globe, 130,000 years before present. Those locations were Northeast Africa, Scandinavia, India, Far East Asia and Australia. 85,000 years pass and transformative changes have occurred to the African tribal gatherings and their non-African habitats. 45,000 years ago in Northeast Africa the African breed does not appear to have changed from the original people. 45,000 years ago in Northern Europe they have advanced to a pale-skinned, blue-eyed, narrow-nosed, blonde-haired, lofty breed with a large cranial capacity. 45,000 years ago, in India, Far East Asia and Australia, new breeds emerged, all dark-skinned with dark hair and eyes as pictured. Yes. 45,000 year ago there were five distinct breeds, African in Africa, Nordic in Northern Europe, Indian in India, Far East Asian in Far East Asia, Aborigine in Australia, Neanderthals were spread across Eurasia during this period. 45,000 years ago the interglacial period was coming to an end, extreme cold was working its way down from Northern Europe, the Nordic breed there had no option other than to move south. They expanded and spread out into the parts of Europe that could be inhabited. Nordic tribal groups then migrated east into Arabia and then far east of Asia. Racial intermixing took place. Nordics mixed with Indians in Arabia and with Far East Asians in Far East Asia. With this intermixing arose ethnicities, Arabic and Mongolian breeds. These newly formed breeds expanded and moved west. Arabs into North Africa, Mongolians into Eurasia. Arabs in the north of Africa then migrated north into the Mediterranean zones we know as Greece, Italy and Spain. As before specified, there were many Nordic communities in Europe. So in Greece, Italy and Spain there was intermixing among Arab and Nordic. This formed the first ethnic Greeks, Italians and Spanish, Mongolian people mixed with Nordic people in Eurasia, shaping the Slavic ethnicity, the Nordic. Arab and Mongolian people in Eurasia did mix with the Neanderthals to some degree. Yes, Europeans are predominantly Nordic. However, all have some degree of Indian or Far East Asian in their hereditary genetics. Individuals in the south of Europe today are a degree more Indian than those from the north of Europe. Whilst individuals from the east of Europe are a degree more Far East Asian than those from the northwest of Europe. It is also a fact that Eurasians possess 1 to 4% Neanderthal DNA. Thank you for watching and please share this video.